It is now time to begin learning some steps. Steps are the individual building blocks of movements. A set of steps placed together is called a movement and is recorded in the form of long and shorthand instructions. Several movements placed together is called a pattern and is recorded in the form of box symbols. You can either learn all 10 foundational steps at once and then proceed to learn movements, or you can learn the steps as you go along. Although either method is effective, all 10 steps will be taught at once in this video. The foundation step used when learning the Timbrel Praise tambourine technique is called the shake. To do the shake, you should twist the tambourine 180 degrees using a wrist motion at the speed and in the direction and shape stated. Unless otherwise indicated, the shake begins with the membrane facing up. The symbol for the shake being played stationary is written like this. The symbols for the shake being played in a circle or a straight line are written like this. The first number represents for how many beats the shake should be played. The second number represents how many times the tambourine should be turned during the indicated number of beats. For example, two four shakes is played like this. Four eight shakes is played like this. To do the bang, you should bang the tambourine's north side on the first four fingers of your non-playing hand by moving the tambourine to your hand. The membrane should not touch the palm of your non-playing hand. This is a symbol for the bang. The presence of an S next to the symbol indicates that the south side should be used. An LT or RT that the front left or right thigh be used. Unless otherwise indicated, a north bang is performed with the membrane facing down and a south bang with the membrane facing up. To do the shake with a bang, you should perform the indicated number of shakes. However, the first turn of the tambourine should be played as a bang. The symbol for the shake with a bang is exactly the same as for the shake, with the addition of a bang symbol. Two four shakes with a bang should be played like this. Four eight shakes with a bang should be played like this. To do the continuous bang, you should do one bang followed by 0.51 shakes. Two continuous bangs should be played like this. Four continuous bangs should be played like this. This is the symbol for the continuous bang. To do the double bang, you should do one bang on the north side of your tambourine, followed by one bang on the south side of your tambourine. Unless otherwise indicated, this step begins on the north side of your tambourine. Four double bangs should be played like this. Eight double bangs should be played like this. This is the symbol for the double bang. To do the tingle, you should rattle the tambourine using a slight wrist motion. Do not turn or twist the tambourine. The tingle is measured in beats. Therefore, two tingles should be played like this. Four 
four tingles should be played like this. This is the symbol for the tingle. To do the underhit, you should tap the inside membrane of your tambourine with the first three to four fingers of your non-playing hand. Unless otherwise indicated, the tambourine membrane should face down while playing this step. This is the symbol for the underhit. To do the skinner, you should whip the tambourine in the direction indicated skimming the membrane with the open palm of your non-playing hand. This is the symbol for the skinner. Arrows indicate which direction to begin. When more than one skinner is to be played, a line above or below the symbol indicates in which direction the return skinner should be played. To do the swing, you should swing the tambourine back and forth using a wrist action. Unless otherwise indicated, the membrane should face left. Four swings should be played like this. Eight swings should be played like this. This is the symbol for the swing. To do the twirl, you should begin with the membrane facing you. Let the tambourine fall in an anti-clockwise direction to your left without moving your arm, only your wrist. Bring the south side up to the right, continuing in the anti-clockwise direction until you return to the original position. This is the symbol for the twirl. When reading or writing shorthand instructions, you should be aware of the following. All steps should be capitalized so as to avoid confusing them with verbs. The counting of each step should usually be written in the upper right hand of the shorthand symbol. An arrow describes step direction. No arrow indicates that the step should be played stationary except for the tingle and shake which will be circled. Light colored arrows are used to help you follow shorthand instructions and do not indicate step movement. The presence of circled numbers indicates the order in which you should play individual steps and not how many times to play each step. They correspond with the numbers used in the longhand instructions. And finally, you may have noticed that some steps can be written in several ways. Although there is no difference between them, you should use the shortest of the written forms. For example, one bang is equal to half a continuous bang, which is equal to one double bang. In this instance, you would use one bang. It is now time for you to begin learning some movements. The first eight movements you will learn are called the easy eight and utilize only the most basic elements of playing the tambourine. They are made up of the steps you just learnt and are pieced together like a puzzle to form movements. Each movement has a name, creator, style, time signature, beats, symbol, set of long and shorthand instructions and often a scripture reference. You should use both the long and the shorthand instructions to fully understand how to play each movement. <laughs>